the other thing that I that I was really uh, that I liked uh, was your whistleblower protections because certainly um, myself personally think how Julian Assange has been treated, how <clears throat> the fact that he's an Australian citizen, and um, we really have just been cowards in you know the, the exception uh, the order. Uh, I know Andrew Wilk has been very proactive, and and there's I think there's one or two others um, that have actually reached out to him and, and offered some support. But Australia as a whole is largely, you know, you can hear the sound of crickets. Um, and yet without that platform, um, you know, the confidence or, or the, the depth of distrust only, only increases because there's no mechanism for which truth could ever see the light of the day without, mm -hmm. you know, individuals having to, um, you know, see lifetimes in prison. So, you know, I think, any any time I see whistleblower policies, I get excited. So, do you want to talk a little bit about um, where Australian progressives stand in regards to protecting uh, whistleblowers? Yeah, well, we see you know um, whistleblower protections as a critical element of you know addressing corruption. If you've got um, a systemic issue within the uh, within the government, within the executive, um, within the federal public service, um, in our intelligence services, the rest of it. Then, yeah, I know that each of these each of these uh, organisations or each of, each of these institutions have their own internal mechanisms for addressing these problems. But when it's systemic, mm. then you need to have the protection of someone reaching out, um, you know, in the interest of uh, of the public's interest. So, um, it, it's it's a fine. Oops, pardon me. That's <laughs> not the camera there. Uh, it's a fine. It's a fine balance. Uh, I, I've you know, a former military person, I, I've, um, you know, quite a lot of people in the in intelligence community, um, you know, and having, having a robust uh, security framework is, you know, extremely important. I, I won't take away from that. However, um, if, if disclosures are made in the public interest, and, and it's not difficult to see things like, you know, the, the doctor's uh, and, and other medical staff on, say, Nauru, who treating, you know, treating uh, our, our, the refugees who were stranded there, being muzzled by the government um, mm. to, to, to say pretty simple stuff like, the, you know, the, the, the state of the health of the people that we have incarcerated in these places. You know, that's quite obviously in the public's interest. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the sort of thing. It, it's, it's a very delicate balance that's got to be met, but... Um, you know, it, it does need to be met. We do need to hold power to account um, on their actions. And, you know, if we're not doing that through a federal ICAC, then, you know, then, then yeah. uh, our whistleblowers, um, you know, go into the media, they absolutely need to be protected. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you, because um, it, it's refreshing policy to see. Cause it, I don't think we could expect it from any of the majors, not that I could comfortably say I've checked Labor's policies in any time recently, but, um, I wouldn't imagine that I, I would see um, th that level of depth. And, and for anyone watching, I, I would encourage going to, to the Australian Progressives website because they do have quite a lot of content on their website under policies. Um, there are obviously a lot of parties, very micro parties that don't have that level of um, detail, mm. but, but certainly I wasn't quite impressed with, with your website because yeah, it, it has that kind of detail. Oh, good.